Hey there, it's Kimberly here with Knit for Brains. I got more squares. We're opening up more squares for Project Welcome Home, so stay tuned. As you know, we were gone for a month, and my P.O. Box man is a love. I'm gonna have to, maybe I'll give him, uh, no, I won't give him a blanket, I'll give him some Christmas cookies or something like that. Y'all have been amazing sending in these, these blankets, these squares so that we can make blankets for Project Welcome Home. So many that I actually broke up because um, this box was like overflowing here. So I broke it up into three segments. So um, if I don't happen to open up your blankets in this segment, there was one that came right before this and there's one that's going to come right after this. So just hang in there because I'm opening up every single set. All right. If you don't know what Project Welcome Home is, uh, we are delivering, we're making Granny Scar blankets. All I asked for earlier in the year, I don't know, it might've been like April, March, something like that. It, it wasn't terribly long ago. Um, not the full year, at least that I just said, Hey, if you just want to make some granny squares, then, you know, send them to me and I'm, we're going to make these granny square blankets to date. Uh, I think we've received close to a thousand granny squares. I can't even, I, I, I don't even know what to do with all of that. I'm going to do a final count at the end. So you guys will know, we'll know exactly how many granny squares. The goal is that we make 40, 42 inch uh, it, well, not 42 inch, um, 42 squares, um, six inch squares, granny square blankets. And we're going to be delivering them to an assisted living facility. Uh, we got the date. The actual date we're going to be doing this is going to be on Friday, December 20th. It's going to be at 1 PM Pacific time. We're not going to do a live from there. Um, but we're going to be recording it and all that wonderful stuff. And then I'll come back of course and tell you all about it. So these came in to us from Maria Cricus, I'll say Cricus. I think that's right. Brockton, Massachusetts. Cricus, Cricus, you know, but I like it. Cricus, maybe. All right. Um, from Brockton, Massachusetts. I'm going to have friends all over the world now. Isn't that amazing? All right. I'm opening the card first. Oh, it's beautiful. Hello, fall. Fall is my favorite season, by the way, bar none. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. You know why? It's not about the presents. It's not about all the stress that comes along with the Christmas, the holidays, the money that has to be spent. Sometimes Christmas is not a really good or fun time for a lot of people. You know, maybe they don't have their loved ones around or whatever. Um, but Thanksgiving is just all about, at least in the U.S. And I know there has some Canadian and some European subscribers that are like, I don't do Thanksgiving. And I get that. But Thanksgiving for me, is just all about like being with who you want to be with. It's all about the food. I love the turkey. I love the mashed potatoes. I love the stuffing. I make this dish that has sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts and pecans and pomegranates in you, like roast it all together with balsamic vinegar. Oh my gosh. So delicious. It like just screams fall to me like this. It's beautiful. Anyways. Maria says, Dear Kimberly, the enclosed squares were lovingly made for your welcome home project. I'm particularly touched by what you are doing after caring for both grandparents and parents. I guess these were made in their memory in a way. I hope these squares help make another beautiful blanket. All the best, Maria. You know what, Maria? That is such a great sentiment that you made these in memory of your parents and your grandparents. And I think... That's what a lot of people are feeling. Like, I think it really resonates with them because they either had a loved one, like a parent or someone in a facility, or some of them have even been, you know, like nurses and caretakers in these facilities. But it just feels like it touches so many people in such a personal way. And I think that's the thing that it really surprised me. The reason that I just decided to do it, for those of you that don't know, is I teach yoga to these people. So I go, as a matter of fact, I'm going today. Um, and I have just, they just, taken my heart, you know, um, they're lovely people and they have so much to say and so many stories, uh, that I just feel like they need to be heard. And, and in this kind of facility, I mean, the facility is beautiful and I'm so happy that they have these kind of places for these people. So let's look at Maria's squares. These are beautiful, beautiful, bright, sunny, happy, love these. So we did kind of like two in each, oops, part envelope job, two in each color. This is great because I can add these to some that are already done. Love it. Love the blue and the green. I made one earlier that ended up becoming almost like a garden blanket. It was, it's gorgeous. I love how you did the little puffed flowers in these. These are very happy. Um, and then these guys, purple and green are two of my favorite colors together. Love those. And this here just speaks like summer to me. Daisies. That just speaks daisies to me. 
And then these guys, this is beautiful. It speaks like a Christmassy color. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. And that's awesome. What I'll do is I will add these to another blanket. Um, and some of those that are adding in are turning out so cool. You know, it's like we're, we're trying to add to match up the colors or the yarns, or maybe it's a glitter or kind of the theme. And they're just turning out so pretty. So, so, so cool. I love it. So um, we are going to be doing, I am going to be doing a live video every Friday at five o'clock from here through December 20th. I'll even probably, I think I'll do one on December 20th. We'll do it after the big um, launch, the big reveal. Um, just to kind of show you guys what I'm doing, right? So now that I'm back from our big vacation, my whole world is just granny squares. And Mumsy, she did like six while we were gone. It's like, that's crazy. So we currently have, I think about 20 blankets completed. Um, and so every Friday I'll come to you and I'll show you like either what I'm doing, what I'm working on, or the ones that have been finished. Um, probably the Friday before we do the big launch, we're going to be wrapping them all. I got some um, cellophane bags and some ribbons. And so we're going to be wrapping, wrapping them all together. And um, Mumsy's going to come over and she'll do, um, she'll help us wrap them together and things like that. So very excited about that. All right. So I brought, I wanted to do these two together because they came from the same person, I do believe. Ishmael from Eaton, Pennsylvania. Eaton, I think it's Eaton, Pennsylvania. So I wanted to open these together. And I recognize the paper, the package rather, and I recognize the handwriting. Pretty sure you've sent me some here already. Let's see here. And I love that you guys are doing this. I just love that it speaks to you. I really do. I mean, I just, you know, I thought I was alone in this. I, I honestly had no expectations of how this was going to go down. I really didn't. I was like, maybe nobody will send them in and that'll be fine. I'll just be making granny squares all by myself, but there's no way, there's no way on this beautiful green earth that I could have done all of these. I, I couldn't make all these squares. It's all I can do to sew them all together, but that's a different story. Mumsy has been amazing. She's putting them all together. She's excited too. All right. So I'm opening up this first package, <clears throat> which was double Flamingo, and I do love my flamingos. Love, love, love flamingos. Did you know that they turn pink because they eat shrimp? That's how they turn pink is the, the pink color in the shrimp. They eat them and then they turn pink. Uh, you know, something I learned. All right. Oh, these are very pretty. Very, very pretty. So I love the muted colors. Um, they're not all muted. So that's a really super soft cream with a pale blue in the center. So there are three of those. Lovely. And then there's three in the dark blue. Lovely. I'm probably, there's probably a card in maybe the other bag. Oh, no, nope, no. Nope. Here's a piece of paper. No, it was. Okay, here we go. Kimberly, here are some more squares for Project Welcome Home. Your yarny friend, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. I knew, I knew I recognized your handwriting and the flamingo bags. These are pretty. So these are all going to go together. So we've got three, six, here's nine. And these are nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Love these. Isn't that beautiful? That's going to make a really kind of a, almost a mid-century modern. Oh, I have, I have this color. I have this color in like pound of love or Karen one pound or something, but I know I have that color. So we might've found a winner. And then these, aren't they beautiful? Yeah. I also have the um, royal blue. And I also have a baby blue, but I really do like this, um, kind of that pistachio or, oh, I'm brain dead. What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? This color. It's my favorite color. Gosh darn it. What's a moss? Moss. That's the color. That might be the color I was thinking of. Maybe. But that's, that's the, yeah, let's just call it moss. If you guys have a better name for it, go ahead and comment below. All right. Oh, here's more. I love it because they're, I love the circle. So these are all going to go together in the same blanket. Isn't that pretty? Lavender. So I've got two of those. So I think I had 15. There's 16, 17. And then this is pretty. 17. So I, let's, let's say I had 15. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Pretty, beautiful. 22, lovely, I like the brown. Now you're gonna make me second guess that green. I don't know, I have to lay it out and see. That's beautiful. Oh, love it. I love how each one is different, you guys. And these people, by the way, oh, these are pretty. So it's like a pale or, or like a pale orange and then a little bit of a darker orange. These residents, by the way, they have no idea, no idea that I'm doing this. The only one who even knew was my friend um, Irene, who had to move early. You guys saw that video. So I gave her her blanket. So one blanket has already been distributed. So if you count that, we currently have about 21 blankets, but one of them was already given away. That was okay. And it was lovely. And she took it on a plane back east where she was, or more in the ish west. So, um, and she said she was going to wrap herself in it when she got on the plane. That was very sweet. Um, all right. So Deborah, Ishmael, and I think these were Maria. Maria's, Maria Crickus. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They're going back here in the box. And if I didn't open up your book, don't worry, because there were so many. I'm actually doing this in three parts, so you guys don't get, you know, bored. Um, this is Project Welcome Home. So again, we're doing the big reveal on Friday, December 20th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's going to be so great because um, at 2 o'clock, no, 2.30, sorry, 2.30, the residents are doing like a big holiday sing-along. They're going to have up the Christmas tree. They're going to have the menorah. They're going to be doing carols. They're going to be doing like cookies and, you know, juice or nog or whatever, something like that. So it's just going to be such a beautiful, beautiful time. It's really, really just going to like, you know, scream the season and resonate that kind of a thing. And the other exciting news is um, this project has caught the attention of the media local media. I don't want to go crazy or anything, um, but we're going to have some newspapers out there and we're also going to have some TV channel, uh, at least one that I know of right now. So that's incredible just because, you know, it's just a, people need good news and good things around the holidays. So, uh, that's what we're concentrating on and that's what we're doing. If you're just joining us, thank you so much for subscribing. Make sure you hit that like video, like this video, because it, it bumps us up in the, um, in the ranking. So it shows up, you know, first on your feeds or other people's feeds, and then more people find out about Project Welcome Home. Thank you so much for liking it. Thank you for, for subscribing. Welcome. We don't just do Project Welcome Home. We also do reviews and tutorials and book reviews, and I try out new yarns, and we just do all kinds of fun stuff. And, and I think from here on out, we're always going to do some kind of a charity feel-good project as well. So thank you so much for joining. Um, you can head over to our Facebook page, which is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. I haven't been as active but I'm committing to be more active on that page, you know, um, maybe posting like free patterns that I found, maybe some tutorials, maybe we'll be doing some videos from Project Welcome Home. And if you've got some projects, go ahead and share them over there so you can, you know, like share the love with everybody else and show them all the great stuff that you're doing. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kimberly with Knit for Brains, and this is more from Project Welcome Home. And as always, I'll see you soon.